Mom, when you returned to school after the war, there were far fewer Jewish children than before. But there was one who returned. Tell me about that. Yeah. His name was Max Abbas. And I was so fond of him. He was such a fun boy. He was good looking. He was fun to play with. I remember, I was just very little. Uh, the Abbas family lived in, in the Stevinstraat, had a dry goods store, had gone to France just at the very beginning of the war. And lo and behold, praise God, they had survived the war. And so the family came back to Scheveningen, to the Netherlands, after we had moved back to our old house. Uh, it was announced that Max would come back to school and uh, Actually, the whole school celebrated. I believe he was the only Jewish child who survived and who came back. Although there were other Jewish children in school by that time, but there were other surviving children who were adopted by Jewish families, by parents, and you obviously had to go to school. But Max was an old one, and we were all very happy. Um, the whole classroom was looking forward to Max going back. Anyways, then the Monday arrived. Max was coming back and we were all looking forward to it. There was a bit of a suspense in the classroom. This was really rather special. The door opens and in walks Max. In walks this teenager, this boy teenager. And he did not look like that cute little boy that I had known five years before. This was a boy teenager. And that was the end of the romance, I'm afraid. Not so pretty as when he was little, huh? Oh, man. He was cute when he was little. Well, what do I know, actually? I just know I was friends with him.